announced in Twitter late on March 17 that the Saturday Night Live star, who reportedly dined at Jeff's home with girlfriend Kim Kardashian in January, is no longerable to join the NS20 crew on this mission. It sounds like a scheduling conflict forced the change. Pete, 28, was planning to fly to to the Carmen. Line and back alongside five passengers on Wednesday, March 23rd. The flight, which will be the fourth human trip to space for Blue Origin's new Shepard program, has reportedly been rescheduled for Tuesday, March 29th. The company's representative also said they plan to announce the sixth crew member in the coming days. Twitter. Users who've been following Pete's romance with Kim, and the ire it's evoked in a certain rapper, promptly chimed in in the comments with a predictable suggestion. As complex writer Carla Rodriguez tweeted, get Kanye on the phone. Pete Davidson's Blue Origin space trip cancelled. Pete Davidson will not be launching into space next week, after all. A representative for Blue Origin, the rocket company owned by Jeff Bezos, announced on Twitter. Latian March 17 that the Saturday Night Live star, who reportedly dined at Jeff's home with girlfriend Kim Kardashian in January, is no longer able to. Join the NS20 crew on this mission. It sounds like a scheduling conflict forced the change. Pete, 28, was planning to fly to to the Carmen line and back. Alongside five passengers on Wednesday, March 23rd. The flight, which will be the fourth human trip to space for Blue Origin's new Shepard program, has reportedly be on rescheduled for Tuesday, March 29th. The company's representative also said they plan to announce the sixth crew member in the coming days. Twitter users who've been following Pete's romance with Kim, and the ire it's evoked in a certain rapper, promptly chimed in in the comments with a predictable suggestion. As complex writer Carla Rodriguez tweeted, get Kanye on the phone. Q. Where you were kissing the girl, was that real? The kid asked in a clip shared on social media this week by Netflix Geeked. Ryan, who shares three young Daughters with his wife of nearly a decade, Blake Lively, looked briefly impressed. Whoa, he said, apparently stunned. I guess it was kind of real, he continued, choosing his words carefully. But, um, how do I answer this? I didn't mean it? After joking that the kid might be Blake in disguise, Ryan admitted the question was tough, even for him as a dad. This is the thing, I don't know how to explain this to my own kids, he said. If they watch this, and they're like, Daddy, what are you doing? Like, it's exactly the tactic I'd use on them, not anger, but just disappointment. Before moving on, he joked, yeah. Great question, though, the exit's that way. Ryan Reynolds tries to explain romantic scene to little boy. The exit's that way. And a child shall lead them, straight into awkward town. A young fan recently left Ryan Reynolds stumbling for words during AQ. When he questioned the smooch Ryan shares with co-star Zoe Saldana, who plays his wife in the movie. In the scene where you were kissing the girl, was. That real? The kid asked in a clip shared on social media this week by Netflix Geeked. Ryan, who shares three young daughters with his wife of nearly a. Decade, Blake Lively, looked briefly impressed. Whoa, he said, apparently stunned. I guess it was kind of real, he continued, choosing his words carefully. But, um, how do I answer this? I didn't mean it? After joking that the kid might be Blake in disguise, Ryan admitted the question was tough, even for him as a dad. This is the thing, I don't know how to explain this to my own kids, he said. If they watch this, and they're like, Daddy, what are you doing? Like, it's exactly the tactic I'd use on them, not anger, but just disappointment. Before moving on, he joked, yeah, great question, though. The exits. That way. Million fundraising goal in their campaign to support Ukrainian refugees. We are overwhelmed with gratitude for the support, Mila said in a video posted to Ashton's Instagram. While this is far from a solve of the problem, our collective effort will provide a softer landing for so many people as they forge. Ahead into their future of uncertainty. Seated beside Mila, Ashton chimed in to say the two will do everything we can to ensure that the donations find the maximum impact with those in need. Earlier this month, the That 70s Show alum said funds they raise will be donated to Flexport. Org's efforts to distribute 
basic supplies to refugee sites in Poland, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia and Moldova, and to an Airbnb program that's providing free, short-term housing to refugees from Ukraine amid Russia's ongoing invasion, which began February 24. Funds have already and will continue to be delivered to. They can act now, Ashton wrote in the caption. Mila left Ukraine, then Soviet Ukraine, with her family in 1991, relocating to Los Angeles the same. Year the USSR was dissolved and Ukraine declared its independence. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher reached $30 million Ukraine fundraising goal. Ukraine-born actress Mila Kunis and her husband, Ashton Kutcher, thanked fans on March 17, announcing they've surpassed their $30 million fundraising goal in their campaign to support Ukrainian refugees. We are overwhelmed with gratitude for the support, Mila said in a video posted to Ashton's Instagram. While this is far from a solve of the problem, our collective effort will provide a softer landing for so many people as they forge ahead into their future of uncertainty. Seated beside Mila, Ashton chimed in to say the two will do everything we can to ensure that the donations find the maximum impact with those same need. Earlier this month, the That 70s Show alum said funds they raise will be donated to Flexport. Org's efforts to distribute basic supplies to refugee sites in Poland, Romania, Hungary, Slovakia and Moldova, and to an Airbnb program that's providing free, short-term housing to refugees from Ukraine. Amid Russia's ongoing invasion, which began February 24, Funds have already and will continue to be delivered to Flexport.org and Airbnb.org so they can act. Now, Ashton wrote in the caption. Mila left Ukraine, then Soviet Ukraine, with her family in 1991, relocating to Los Angeles the same year the USSR was dissolved and Ukraine declared its independence. The 2022 homes trend, mastering dual occupancy, ad Guardian Australia, Slideshow continues on the next slide. The 2022 homes trend, mastering dual occupancy, ad Guardian Australia, school classrooms, has already inspired a wave of backlash in Hollywood. And at the March 16th premiere of her new film, Cheaper by the Dozen in Los Angeles, Gabrielle Union joined those critics, slamming Disney and other major corporations for failing to oppose such legislation and in some cases, donating large some soft money to politicians like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who support it. I am incredibly proud of this, movie, especially right now, because we actually say gay, Gabrielle told The Hollywood Reporter. I don't want to say shock because hatred doesn't shock me at this point. I've been a black woman in America. Since 72, nothing shocks me. But the fear that gripped me because I know what this leads to. Every moment in history, there has been this moment. We know how this ends. We know where hate and oppression lead. And it can start now with the LGBTQIA community, but if you think that it's just a them problem, oh. Baby, you're next. Gabrielle added. If you're going to take a stand and be all about diversity and inclusion, and it's not just about black boxes after. George Floyd died, you need to actually put your money where your mouth is. You can't stand against hate and oppression and fund hate and oppression. That doesn't work. There are countless children who deserve peace and the ability to survive and thrive in this world, just like everybody else. And if you think that your kid ISNT next, you are so sadly mistaken. Gabrielle Union slams Don't Say Gay Bill at Cheaper by the Dozen premiere. Florida's so-called Don't Say Gay Bill, which makes it illegal to discuss sexual orientation and gender identity in primary school classrooms, has already inspired a wave of backlash in Hollywood. And at the March 16 premiere of her new film, Cheaper by the Dozen in Los Angeles, Gabrielle Union joined those critics, slamming Disney and other major corporations for failing to oppose such legislation and in some cases, donating large sums of money to politicians like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who support it. I am incredibly proud of this, movie, especially right now, because we actually say gay, Gabrielle told the Hollywood Reporter. I don't want to say shock because hatred doesn't shock me at this point. I've been a black woman in America since 72, nothing shocks me. 
but the fear that gripped me because I know what this leads to. Every moment in history, there has been this moment. We know how this ends. We know where hate and oppression lead. And it can start now with the LGBTQIA community, but if you think that it's just a them problem, oh baby, you're next. Gabrielle added, if you're going to take a stand and be all about diversity and inclusion, and it's not just about black boxes after George Floyd died, you need to actually put your money where your mouth is. You can't stand against hate and oppression and fund hate and oppression. That doesn't work. There are countless children who deserve peace and the ability to survive and thrive in this world, just like everybody else. And if you think that your kid ISNT next, you are so sadly. UK Snoo Talk TV channel, where Sharon's pal Piers Morgan is also a presenter. Piers and Sharon announced their news in a video posted to her Instagram on March 17. What I am really looking for in my co-workers at Talk TV is somebody who is, well, a bit like me, he says in the clip. Very opinionated, fearless, funny, knows their own mind, not afraid to speak it, unpredictable, maybe a little bit dangerous. But also somebody who every time opens their gobby little mouth, it makes global news. Sharon then joins him on screen, asking, where do I sign, Pierce? According to Variety, Sharon will host a current affairs show in Talk TV, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch's News Corp. Sharon left CBS's The Talk after a blow-up related to her defense of Piers and his negative comments about Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry following their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. Sharon was later accused of racism by others outside the show. She posted an official apology before her departure from the show was announced on March 26. Her new gig is slated to premiere this spring. Sharon Osbourne is returning to TV alongside Piers Morgan. After her messy departure from CBS The Talk in 2021, Sharon Osbourne is returning to television and the world of talk, courtesy of the UK's new talk TV channel, where Sharon's pal Piers Morgan is also a presenter. Piers and Sharon announced their news in a video posted to her Instagram on March 17. What I am really looking for in my co-workers at Talk TV is somebody who is, well, a bit like me, he says in the clip. Very opinionated, fearless, funny. Knows their own mind, not afraid to speak it, unpredictable, maybe a little bit dangerous. But also somebody who every time opens their gobby little mouth, it makes global news. Sharon then joins him on screen, asking, where do I sign, Piers? According to Variety, Sharon will host a current affairs show on Talk TV, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch's News Corp. Sharon left CBS's The Talk after a blow-up related to her defense of Piers and his negative comments about Duchess Meghan and Prince Harry following their bombshell Oprah Winfrey interview. Sharon was later accused of racism by others outside the show. She posted an official apology before her departure from the show was announced on March 26. Her new gig is slated to premiere this spring. Moment in her own eponymous show to support her. Wendy is another mom. Another woman who created, executive produced and hosted her show, Tamron explained on March 17, adding that she and Wendy are the only two black women who created, executive produce and solo host daytime shows on TV, right now. She went on to say, it was powerful to hear Wendy in her own words talk about her health, which has been speculated in so many places. Wendy called in to Good Morning America on March 17 and discussed her financial battle with Wells Fargo, her health, which was cited as a reason the Wendy Williams show will be replaced by Sherry Shepard's Sherry this fall, and her intention to get back on the air soon. At the end of the day we are moms, we are women who are working, and she did. Something that so many others could not, which is stay on more than a decade of that show, Tamron added. Wendy says that she needs about three months and she feels she will be back on TV. I know all of her co-hosts, her fans, like the Tam fam, would root for me, are rooting for her. Tamron Hall supports Wendy Williams after health update. Following Wendy Williams' revelation that she's healthy and wants to return to her show in about three months, Tamron Hall took a moment on her own eponymous show to support her. Wendy is another mom. 
Another woman who created, executive produced and hosted her show, Tamron explained on March 17, adding that she and Wendy are the only two black women who created, executive produce and solo host daytime shows on TV, right now. She went on to say, it was powerful too. Hear Wendy in her own words talk about her health, which has been speculated in so many places. Wendy called in to Good Morning America on March 17 and discussed her financial battle with Wells Fargo, her health, which was cited as a reason the Wendy Williams show will be replaced by Sherry Shepard's share this fall, and her intention to get back on the air soon. At the end of the day we are moms, we are women who are working, and she did something that so many others could not, which is stay on more than a decade of that show, Tamron added. Wendy says that she needs about three months and she feels she will back on TV. I know all of her co-hosts, her fans, like the Tam fam, would root for me, are rooting for her. Jack Antonoff, Pete Davidson, Margaret Qualley's Complete Dating History, U.S. Weekly, Trapped in Kyiv, Ukraine, as Russia's invasion continues. That's according to Helena's husband, Matthew Hutchins, who recently tweeted updates about her. Family members, people confirmed on March 18. Ukrainian refugees need humanitarian corridors. Helena's family is trapped in Kyiv because of the danger of travel, Matthew shared in one post. Her mother continues to work in the hospital where she has been a nurse for over a decade because her country needs her, but also because they cannot leave safely. Helena's sister and three-year-old niece have safely gotten to the Romanian border, Matthew's lawyers told people. As of Friday, they were still trying to leave Ukraine. Helena died on the set of Rust in October after a gun Alec Baldwin was handling and had been told was cold, discharged live ammunition. The actor and producer has denied liability for Helena's fatal shooting in the wake of a wrongful death. Lawsuit Matthew filed against him and other producers. Rust cinematographer Helena Hutchins' family remains trapped in Ukraine. The parents of Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer killed on the set of Alec Baldwin's film Rust in October, are currently trapped in Kyiv, Ukraine, as Russia's invasion continues. That's according to Helena's husband, Matthew Hutchins, who recently tweeted updates about her family members, people confirmed on March 18. Ukrainian refugees need humanitarian corridors. Helena's family is trapped in Kyiv because of the danger of travel, Matthew shared in one post. Her mother continues to work in the hospital where she has been a nurse for over a decade because her country needs her, but also because they cannot leave safely. Helena's sister and three-year-old niece have safely gotten to the Romanian border, Matthew's lawyers told People. As of Friday, they were still trying to leave Ukraine. Helena died on the set of Rust in October after a gun Alec Baldwin was handling and had been told was cold, discharged live ammunition. The actor and producer has denied liability for Helena's fatal shooting in the wake of a wrongful death lawsuit Matthew filed against him and other producers.